Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 41 of the Battleship Brawls Season 5 Tournament. This episode, the Sawtooth is going to be fighting its final battle against the USS New Mexico by Ilac Creativity and Names. Let's go ahead and get the camera in position, and away we go. Sawtooth so far only got, well... Up until that point, it had only gotten shots off with its APS guns, but then it got a volley away with its main guns. It did take a hit from the New Mexico. Oh, this rear turret has been disabled. Looks like it got shot right in the back of the head. Saw the taking some damage to its center, but that's... Honestly, the most heavily armored and uh, reinforced place on the ship, so if you're going to get hit anywhere, that's probably the best spot. Oh, one of the APS guns got blown up here and nearly severed the neck of the... Well, more like the blade of the sawtooth here. Yeah, those blocks, even though they look like... Even though they look like they're connected there, they are not. The only thing that's holding it on is on this side over here. It's like a single beam right there holding that entire uh, the entire bow on. One more good shot to that area and the whole thing will fall off. But repairs do seem to be starting and oh! That turret takes a direct hit to the top. Looks like one block failed and the explosion got in there and took out all three barrels. The sausage is about out of materials. But it did get a lot of reinforcement back in on the uh, little blade nose thing. So it's not as likely that's going to fall off now. Ooh, that shell deflected off the top of that turret. Sawtooth is having a little bit of trouble holding on to weapons versus the New Mexico. Sawtooth down to 83%. New Mexico, 92%. Both ships are out of materials. Cannot repair any longer. And oh, that, that spot taking another hit. Quite weakened. If that other side gets hit, the entire nose of the Sawtooth will fall off. It's just this, this, uh, this area right in here holding it all together right now. Sawtooth's getting pretty low in the water as well. We've been looking at the Sawtooth for a while. Let's check out how the New Mexico's doing. Doing fairly well, honestly. Got some hull damage over here. Oh, there is some big holes punched in the, uh, the bottom there. Over here as well. The guns are pretty much good to go. Wonder if those APS guns of the uh, Sawtooths are actually accomplishing anything. Well, the Sawtooths, uh, well, Sawtooth is a bit underwater now. Now she's rolling over. Yep, there's the 80% sinking. I was just about to say that it had to be close. And there it is. That is the end of round one. New Mexico getting 87.5%. <coughs> and the Sawtooth getting nothing. Let me double check something here. Yeah, okay. I saw the two seconds of, of DQ time on the New Mexico and was like, is that from it spawning underwater or is it gaining DQ time right now and I need to let the timer run out? But it was, it was just because... The, uh, the New Mexico spawns a bit low, as you can see. It's kind of already underwater when the match starts. Anyway, 
Here we go, round two underway. Those APS turrets launching their uh, initial shots and uh, missing. Oh, looks like it was aiming at the superstructure. We'll have to see if the New Mexico has as much luck hitting the turrets of the Sawtooth on the second round. Cause it like just it's like going straight for the guns of the Sawtooth in the first round. So far all the guns are still functional. As a matter of fact, the Sawtooth's at hundred percent health right now. Not anymore it isn't. Couple solid hits, but the sawtooth. Th oh, that's a pretty dangerous hit to take right there. The sawtooth does have decent armor. Oh, but what almost happened in the first round has happened in the second. A good chunk of the nose has been blown completely off. What I think probably happened is a shell hit there detonated one at least one if not two of the guns on the nose <coughs> and that was enough to break it off and that's got the front end of the sawtooth pointing down into the water and she is out of materials she cannot do any more repairs or wait no I was looking at the uh I was looking at the uh, New Mexico. Now she's out of materials and can't do any more repairs. I was like, I'm saying that, and as I'm saying it, I'm watching blocks get repaired. I'm like, wait a second, something's not right here. I think the Sawtooth is in serious danger of sinking just by nature of its nose diving down and its propulsion basically trying to push it under the water. If it takes any more damage back here, and gets flooded in the rear. I think it'll push itself under the water and sink. Oh, that's awfully, oh. Yep, that's uh, a good bit of flooding, but th there is some compartmentalization. I don't know if it's enough. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think she's going down right now. Yep. Gaining that DQ time is not under 80% health. Man, having that nose get severed is basically a death sentence for the Sawtooth. Because it doesn't have enough materials to rebuild it. And having that front end dip down like that because of a lack of buoyancy is... not the greatest. She's about to run into the ocean floor. She's still got some buoyancy in her somewhere. Probably back in, back in here. Yeah, see this isn't flooded. But it's just not enough. And the funny thing is, I think the New Mexico is more damaged this time than it was in the first round. And there's the detonation under the water. We can barely even see it. She's down so far. Yeah, 79.3 for... Yeah, that's worse than round one. <laughs> so even though the <coughs> New Mexico got a much quicker critical hit that ended the round... Uh, I mean, the round was basically over once the Sawtooth sank, but... So in that sense the round was ended more quickly but since we had to wait the full minute I think it was about the same amount of time but you know technicalities here we go round two or round three rather underway so far the New Mexico has uh, won pretty handily in the first two rounds but uh, the New Mexico took quite a bit of damage in that second round And so much recoil on the guns, it brings the, uh... 
it brought the uh, New Mexico to a stop. Oh man, those are some solid hits. Oh, a bunch of them actually missed. I thought that was going to do a lot more damage. Here I go calling them solid hits and then I check and oh wait, they actually missed. Well. It's like, you know, that's, that's not how casting is supposed to work, man, dude. So far, Sawtooth at 94.5%. New Mexico at 90.5%. Mexico is burning through materials like crazy. I already used about 5,000. It's still behind in HP. Sawtooth, uh, it really needs a sinking here. <clears throat> this is its final match. Other than the, uh, the voting points, this is its last opportunity to earn any score to get itself in the grand finals. It could really use a sinking here, and that you know that's plus a hundred points. Well, the New Mexico is dead in the water. Play low in the water as well. But I'm not sure that New Mexico is actually like sinkable. Like it might be one of those ships that'll just stay afloat until it's too damaged, and that's just how things are gonna be. is kind of... Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say it did look like the New Mexico was in danger of getting blown in half there for a second, but no, there's actually plenty of blocks holding things together. It just, from this angle right here, it looks like there's a lot less than there is. Mexico is rolling over. I might, I might be correct, incorrect. The New Mexico might be entirely sinkable. Almost, almost. Oh, well, there's the 80% in sinking despawn. So yeah, that is a sinking. I was, uh, I was incorrect. Big surprise, right? Minty got something wrong? <laughs> that never happens. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, Sawtooth, 83.3% in round three, which brings their scores. Those are pretty close. That's pretty even. It's a good score for both of them. But anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.